Hello, y'all. This is K-Dub, and we are continuing our Let's Play the Shapeshifting Detective series. I, I seem to be forgetting what that word is uh, when I when I start these intros. Anyway, in the previous episode, we finished up the... It was the second chapter, I believe, so we're on the third chapter. And we're still Sam. We talked to Zach uh, Weston, so now we're going to go back to the guest house, and we're going to talk... Uh, to everyone there, see if we can get more information about this Zach Weston guy. So, hello, Violet. I don't mean to pick your brain again, but uh, can we talk about Zach Weston? Uh, do we really have to? Yes. Uh, he says you're sleeping together. How vulgar. Yes, I suppose that is what he'd say. But I've never let him lay a finger on me. He says we're in a relationship, but... He doesn't act like it. So, what does he say? He says he loves me. That I'm the only one for him. Well, based on his behavior, I don't think that's necessarily true. And do you love him by any chance? A rose by any other name? <laughs> I don't think so. So, yeah. That... Uh, hello there, little girl. Staring into my soul, apparently. If I believed in a soul. Alright, so, uh, let's say hi to Bronwyn. Sam, look, I can't talk right now. I'm doing phone readings. Gotta pay for a job somehow. Lexi's locked in until late, too. I can sort you out afterwards, yeah? Perhaps so. Uh, I'm gonna just... Confirm. We've got to stop meeting like this. Seriously though, Sam, I'm working. Can't it wait? Just give me to wait, okay? I think it can't wait. I'll, I'll stop by later. Okay, um, so actually probably the person to visit would be Rain. Hello there, Rain. Do you by any chance know Zach Weston? I met him yesterday, doing the rounds, looking for reading work. Actually, he... Oh no. Um... He did mention Dorota. What about Dorota? He said there was this girl he was planning to meet up with. Said she was alone every Monday night because her parents go to the cinema. Do you know what that means? It was Dorota Shaw. Absolutely. So, Rain, Birmingham. Fine, Sam. Birmingham. Mercury took us to Birmingham. We didn't know what for. We never really know what for. But we turned up. It started with a girl, Ginny. She was South African. I only mention it because that was its thing. Its thing, you say? Yeah. We didn't know at the time, but in hindsight, it was after South African girls. Three, to be exact. The Traveller wanted three. So, do you by any chance know why the Traveller wanted three victims? You should ask Bronwyn. She's the one that knows about rights. I just know it normally involves three, and all three share a common attribute. Tell me about travelers. I guess you might call them demons, in as much as they can get inside us. They come from other worlds. They come from other worlds, really? Kind of, yeah. <laughs> Quantum physics is real, didn't you know? <laughs> Um, there are many universes. In technical terms, a traveller is a trans-dimensional being far more superior to us, in as much as they can choose which reality to hang out in. We just get this one. So travellers can inhabit us? Yes, disturbingly. It's actually a lot more complicated than that. Um, they choose a reality slash universe where they actually evolve to become the person they're possessing. So they jump in a few million years before our timelines intersect. Wait a minute. That's an awfully long time. Uh, can you put it in simple terms, please? They can't just jump into someone. It takes a few hours for that. They make the decision before they travel, which is why we can catch them. 
So you think the murderer is a traveler? Yes, probably. The tarot doesn't just sat nav us to normal murders. Well, now that changes everything now, doesn't it? All right, so let's uh It's 8 o'clock and time for so another August update. So, if I wanted to, I could go Police to the next chapter. Investigating the death of 21-year-old Dorota Short. I'm going to skip that because I actually want to keep investigating. Uh, so I'm going to visit Oscar. Do you know Zach Weston? No. Who's that? Well, he took photos of Dorota. Okay, so this Zach guy was connected to Dorota? Yes. Took pictures of her? Yes. Were they sleeping together? I have no idea. I have no idea. I don't know. You can tell me if she was. I don't care. Look, I mean, if you're going around asking all these questions, if you find out anything like that, I'd want you to tell me. Of course. Um, from a, I know from a an investigator standpoint, I'm not supposed to, but I will tell you, of course, because ethically, I think you should know. Thanks, Sam. Don't let me mourn if I shouldn't. Did Dorota show her you her boudoir photos? Who what? Boudoir photos? She sent some private photos to me by foot. Do you mean them? No, 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 no. These are professional photos, buddy. I get it now. That's why you're asking about Zach Weston. Maybe I should pay him a visit. Yeah, yeah. Um, he's a cocky son of a gun, so maybe you could knock some sense into him. Anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and go to my room and change into our arrogant jerk, uh, Zach Weston. I'm Zach Weston. Just sharpening my powers of persuasion. Okay, Rico Suave. Uh, so let's go ahead and visit Violet. Zach! What are you doing here? Quick, don't let anyone see you. Why don't you want Why don't you want him? <laughs> what? You're the one who said we shouldn't be seen together. What are you doing here? I wanted to make sure we were still okay. We're gonna actually do that. No funny business. Oh, never. I'm still not ready. Everyone's talking about Dorota. I know. But I suppose people like that attract trouble. I'm sorry, people like, people what? like what? Home wreckers. Anyway, I hope you didn't just come here to talk about Dorota. Are you happy Dorota's dead? I didn't say that. But we both know what Dorota was like. She practically threw herself at you. I'm sorry. She didn't throw herself at me. Now, as someone who doesn't have women throwing themselves at me, that would be a that'd be a definite change. Um, not saying that's what I want, uh, but it would be a change. Uh, why? Why, why you do you that? think that? The boudoir sessions. Some girls get the wrong idea. I saw how she was looking at you. She wanted it. You were there. Okay. Um, I get it, I'm a guy and everything, but I don't consider Zach Weston very attractive. Um, but that being said, I'm a guy, and therefore my criteria is going to be different. Um, that being said, sometimes I do see a guy and I'm like, wow, that's a very good looking guy. I sort of wish I looked like him a little bit. Um, but um, that anyway, that's my opinion. Uh, in my opinion, Zach doesn't look that awesome. You saw, you saw the, the photos. photos. I've seen all your photos, Zack. All of them. I'm not messing. So, Rain said he visited Zack, so let's see what he has to say. Zack, let me stop you there. Um, you are one creepy fellow. Now, I, I don't know what you had going on with the rotor, but I don't want anything to do with it. Do not come back here. Please. Uh, certainly. Uh, I'm gonna go to my room, I'm gonna change into... Hello there, uh, Chief DuPont. Hi, I... <clears throat> Hi. Hi, I'm Chief DuPont. So let's go ahead and be Chief DuPont for a little bit. We're gonna visit Violet, and nothing to say to her. Rain is gone, we can't do Lexi 
or Bronwyn right now because they are doing the readings on the phone. Uh, let's go ahead and visit Zach West. Hello. I know you. I hope you do. You're the police chief. I understand that you knew Dorota Shaw. We met briefly, yes. I freelanced for the August Chronicle and they did a story about her. Was that the first time you met her? As far as I know. I meet a lot of people through work. Some are more memorable than others. I, I happened to mention my portrait services, so she built a session with me. When was this? A few weeks ago. What type of photos do you take? For the paper. Record shots that any idiot with a phone can take. My studio is where the magic happens. Mainly portraiture, but I dabble in other areas. Like boudoir, boudoir photography. photography? Sometimes, if that's what the client wants. Are you asking for yourself, or...? <laughs> it's for the case. It's for the case, you moron. Of course. Alright, well that was not very enlightening, so... Chief? Hello, uh, Again? Oscar. Did Dorota have any online friends? She didn't really use any social networks. Didn't have the time. Mainly just cello, cello, cello. Got any clubs or groups? She helped out at a Rainbows group. I think it's like Cub Scouts for little kids. Did that with her mum. But, uh, I don't know. Unless she was strangled by a nine-year-old. Well, that's a very fair point. Alright, so obviously Chief DuPont got me nowhere. Oh, let's change into Violet. Hello, I'm Violet. I'm Violet. Just to be cliche with being a male, if I were somehow able to shapeshift into Violet, I'd have a lot of fun. Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and visit Zack. Well, hello, gorgeous. Hello yourself, jerk. Did you hear about Dorota? Everyone in town's heard. She's a local celebrity now. Local celebrity? Were Boy, you sleeping with that's her? That's a good question. Violet? Of course not. I only have eyes for you. What a prick. That's not, That's what, not I what I heard. heard. This again. I told you, I'm not seeing anyone else. I have gorgeous women in my studio all the time, but you're special. Not because you won't take off your clothes. I'm expecting that at some point. It's just, you're so clever and well-educated. And the icing on the cake. You're the most beautiful woman I've ever met. Uh, right. I came over last night, but you weren't here. Well, that explains why there was no answer when I called you. I was definitely here. And the plot thickens. So the chief is not available, Oscar is not available. Rain is not available, no one else is available in this chapter for Violet. Ah, Rain, I haven't shapeshifted into you yet. Hello, I'm Rain. I'm Rain, I'm Rain, okay. Alright, so let's go ahead and visit Zach Weston. Rain! <laughs> I'm surprised to see you here. I take it you know about Dorota already. All that stuff we talked about yesterday, that's strictly between you. And me. Hmm. What stuff? That's the spirit. Now, I think it's best if we don't get caught speaking to each other. Overcautious, I'm sure, but I think it's for the best nonetheless. Maybe we can get together for a lad's night out after this is all blown over. Yeah? Okay. Great. Well, I'll see you soon. <laughs> yeah, right. So, just out of curiosity, let's go ahead and see if we can visit anyone else and get information. You have a lovely guest house. Oh, well, that, let's try some flattery. It is quaint, isn't it? It's all my parents had when they died. We are literally sitting in my inheritance. How did your parents die? Father died first. Heart attack. They found him in the freezer when Mother died. 
She had a pulmonary embolism. I didn't really talk to them much. Freezer? Yes. She kept him in the chest freezer because she didn't want to be alone. <laughs> Stored him perfectly. Still use it today. Oh, I'm sorry. That to me is absolutely hilarious. Oh, I'm I'm dead. Uh, sorry. <laughs> uh, I can't really visit anyone else uh, as rain, but that was awesome. Oh man, uh, let's see here. Um, I'm gonna return to being Sam. I wonder if Sam can ask Violet about her parents. That'd be great. Uh, no, cannot. All right, let's just go to the next chapter then. It's 8 o'clock and time for another August update. Police investigating the death of 21-year-old Dorota Shaw have said there's no evidence to connect her boyfriend to the murder. Chief DuPont's statement was delivered in response to speculation from local residents that it was a crime of passion. Miss Shaw's strangled body was found by her mother around 10 p.m. last night in what the chief is calling a puzzling crime. I can't believe people are gossiping already, Poe. It's always the person closest to the victim, isn't that what they say? But that poor boy. A reminder also that due to the murder, this weekend's tulip festival has been postponed. New dates will be announced soon. The weather's getting worse tonight with heavy rain forecast. So if you're heading out, you might want to take a jacket. Or a cap. Or wear the jacket in the cap. That's 8 o'clock with Poe and Munro. Nah, we're gonna... Do the next Sam, please. Um, I've got news. Okay, Bronwyn. <sighs> We've done a reading. Uh huh. Five of Swords, not particularly good. Five of Swords? That's the same card as yesterday. Let's hope it's not the Knight of Wands. <laughs> this doesn't look good. It's fine. This happens all the time. There are 78 cards in a deck. The same ones come up a lot. I get it. But we drew the exact same cards yesterday. What are the odds of putting all three again? One in 474,552. I know. I get asked a lot. Bet it's a ten of swords. Yes. It's happening again. There's going to be another murder. Then Lexi did her thing, and now we have a name. Ellis Munro. Okay. That would be the radio personality, Ellis Munro. Let's go ahead and visit. Hello, Ellis. You must be Sam. Yes, that's me. And you are Ellis Munro. Of Poe and Munro. We just got off the phone with Chief DuPont. I can't believe it. First Dorota, now me. Did you know Dorota? Yes. We were... friends. I hadn't known her for long. Only a few weeks. How did you meet her? We met at the gala. I was hosting and she was playing. The cello, you know? Mm -hmm. I guess... We talked for a little while, and then she asked me for a drink after the show. And what happened after the show? After we'd had a few drinks, she invited me back to her house. I thought we were just going to chat, watch a movie, that sort of thing. Then she kissed me. I was so shocked. She was so attractive. So, I kissed her back. You and Dorota were in a relationship? This is just between us, right? Yes, absolutely. Confidentiality. We fooled around. I don't have many friends, Sam. Everyone thinks because I'm on the radio, I have tons of friends, so nobody ever approaches me. I get lonely. But Dorota was my friend, and I liked making her happy. Uh, y wait a minute, you have no friends? Poe and Dorota. People I say hi to, 
I have thousands of followers and subscribers and they keep me feeling warm when I'm down, but they're not friends. I do get the odd stalker, but that isn't something anyone wants. Really? You do know Dorota had a boyfriend, though. Oscar. Yeah. She was a bit confused. When we started seeing each other, she didn't... She didn't like him touching her anymore. I didn't mind. But she did. So I told her if he wanted to get sexual, then maybe she should try something else. Something else you say? I said some guys like to watch. So... Tell him it would be sexy if he could look, but he couldn't touch. As far as I know, it worked. Okay, awesome, wonderful. We think the murderer watched her in the same way. The killer was in her wardrobe? What? Well, then it had to be Oscar. He's the only one it could be. But he was playing, uh, he was playing football last night, which in America, we would say soccer. That doesn't make any sense. Then... She was seeing someone else? No. Someone she knew. Knew she'd be alone? A stalker? That's a lot of questions. You wouldn't by any chance know why Dorota owns a wedding dress. It was her mom's. She was saving any case she ever got married. Do you by any chance know Zach West? Not very well. He's done a few shoots of me and Poe. To promote the show. Have you had any private sessions with him? No. Zack keeps asking, but I just don't want to. Not for him. But Dorota did. She gave me the pictures as a gift. She looked amazing. I know, I saw him. Do you have any idea who might want to hurt you? No. Sorry. I did have a strange dream last night, though. I was a Hollywood actress, and... There were hundreds of magazines and newspapers all piling up on the red carpet, and they all had my picture on the front cover. But the red carpet wasn't carpet. It was a pool of blood, and it seeped through all the pages. Then I woke up. What do you think that means, Sam? It means you hit a deep sleep phase, REM sleep. REM sleep. So, you don't think dreams mean anything? I personally don't, no. Everyone has meaningful dreams, Sam. Everyone. That's a matter of interpretation. What do you want me to do, Ellis? Just don't hurt me. Or let me get hurt. Well, I can try my best. Tell me about your partner, Poe. Your radio We're co-hosts. On the radio. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> you know that already. Um, we've been partners for two years now. He's a good friend. <clears throat> partners are friends. Can't we be both, Sam? Poe's his radio name. He's actually John Poe. He's on air now, but you can come back at 8.30 if you want to see him. Uh, where, just out of curiosity, where were you last night? On air. We both were. We broadcast live hourly news reports. It's how we keep our funding. All right. Thank you, Ellis. Sam, you forgot your phone. Um, thank you. I don't know why I left it there. Uh, should be taking that with me. All right, so this opens up the chapter. Um, Ellis is the next target, and I need to... Sam needs to get to the bottom of it. So in the next episode, we will continue the investigation, and I think we probably have about three or four episodes to go to get to the conclusion. It's pretty close. Uh, so until the next episode, everyone, take care of yourselves, and I'll talk to you soon. Goodbye for now. Hey, Dub here. Just a friendly reminder that this content is partially sponsored by a trio. Logo's up there. A trio is a is an organization that allows content creators to find sponsorship opportunities on their website. So if you do end up going on their website and you do decide to register, please put in the code KDUB4, which is K-A-Y-D-U-4, 
and that referral will put $5 toward my channel. I appreciate your support on that. In addition, did you like the content? Go ahead and hit the like button. And if you want to get notifications for future uploads, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you. Take care of yourselves, and I'll talk to you soon. Goodbye, everyone, for now.